Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? Uh, so if we have 4 to the power of 11 minus 4 to the power of 1, uh, so here we write this into the simplified form. Uh, so <clears throat> the very first step we are going to do is here, um, first we need to focus on the basis of these two terms. So here our basis is 4, so we write this as uh, 2 square and its whole power 4 minus we write this 4 as 2 square and its whole power is 1. Okay, so further you see here, uh, here we need this nice uh, exponential law. If we have a to the power of m to the power of n, it is equals to a to the power of uh, m times of n. So now we apply this nice exponential law on both of these terms. Uh, so here uh, you see that these two exponents are multiplied by each other so that we write it as uh, 2 to the power of 2 times of 11 minus 2 to the power of 2 times of 1. These two exponents are also multiplied by each other. So after that uh, we will uh, obtain here 2 times of 11 becomes here 22 minus 2 times of 1 becomes here 2. Okay, so uh, after this step here, uh, we just uh, uh, rewrite this uh, expression as in this form. Uh, so uh, here we write this 22 as 2 to the power of 20 plus 2 minus 2 to the power of 2. So here we need to break this exponent and we write it as 2 to the power of 20 into 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2. Okay, so here you see that uh, 2 square be the common term. So that now we take common 2 square and the remaining terms are here we get 2 to the power of 20 minus here when you take common 2 square uh, we will obtain here 1. Okay, so now uh, after this step here uh, we need to uh, simplify uh, just this algebraic expression 2 to the power of 20 minus 1. So here uh, first we need uh, to find the value of uh, 2 to the power of uh, 20. Okay. So here uh, we write this 2 to the power of 20 as this is 2 square it is equals to 4 and we write this 2 to the power of 20 as uh, 2 to the power of 10 and its whole square and minus 1. Okay. So now here uh, first we need to find the value of 2 to the power of 20, uh, 2 to the power of 10. So uh, here you can just easily find this value by the traditional multiplication method. Uh, so here you see that if you have 2 to the power of 1, uh, we know that it is equals to 2. If we have 2 to the power of 2, it is equals to 4. Uh, if we have 2 to the power of 3, it is equals to 8. Here you just focus on uh, the right hand side you get the next number uh, just multiply the previous term by 2 okay so you have this is 2 2 times of 2 is 4 4 times of 2 becomes 8 so if we have 2 to the power of 4 so 8 to the uh, 16 and uh, similarly uh, if we have 2 to the power of 5 you just multiply 16 by 2 becomes here 32 and after that you have a 2 to the power of 6 you multiply 32 by 2 then you get here 64 and 2 to the power of 7 equals to 64 times of 2 becomes 128 and 2 to the power of 8 is equals to here you multiply 128 times 2 you get here 256 and uh, 2 to the power of 9 equals to uh, 512 and 2 to the power of 10 is equals to 124. So here this is the uh, traditional way uh, in which you can easily get the value of 2 to the power of 10. So this is equals to 1024 and uh, now here we write this one as one square so, so that now we apply uh, the nice square identity you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b okay <clears throat> so here we use this nice formula to the above term uh, so that our above term is written as 4 times of uh, 2 to the power of 10 
and plus 1 into 2 to the power of 10 minus 1 so now here we need to replace the value of 2 to the power of 10 it is equals to 1024 uh, so that we just replace it here and it will become the uh, uh, 1024 plus 1 into 1024 minus 1 uh, so that now here uh, you see that um, 4 times of this will becomes 1025 and this will be written as 1023 okay so now here uh, we need to I rewrite this 1025 and 1023 as in this form this is 4 and we write this term as 1000 plus 25 and we write this term as 1000 plus 23 okay so further uh, you see here we need uh, some uh, some simplification here so that now we just multiply these two factors here so that here first we take this 1000 and we multiply this 1000 on both of these terms after that we take this 25 and we need to multiply this 25 on both of these terms so it will be written as four times of uh, here when you multiply this uh, 1000 by 1000 here you just add uh, the add these zeros here you have three zero and three zero becomes here total uh, six zeros uh, and uh, here when you multiply this 1000 by 23 then you get here at 23000 and when you multiply 25 by 1000 then you get here at 25000 and now you multiply 25 by 23 here you can just use the traditional method of multiplication and you can easily multiply 25 by 23 so it is equals to 575 okay now here uh, we need to add all of these values so here first we write this value so you see here we have one and these are the six zeros after that we have 23,000 so we just write it here 23,000 after that we have 25,000 and after that we have 575 so here we add all of these numbers by traditional method of addition so we add these all numbers you get here 5 when you add all numbers you get 7 5 and 5 plus 3 becomes 8 and 2 plus 2 is 4 and this is 0 into 1 okay so you get here uh, 4 times of uh, uh, 104875 and now here we need to multiply this number by 4 so that here we just multiply our uh, remaining terms by 4 then you obtain here 4 5s are 20 we write 2 we write 0 and we just carry here 2 4 7s are 28 28 plus 2 becomes 30 we put 0 and carry 3 and 4 5s are 20 and 20 plus 3 becomes 23 we write 3 and carry 2 4 8s are 32 and 32 plus 2 becomes 34 we write here 4 and carry 3 4 4 is 16 16 plus 3 19 and we write 9 and carry 1 4 zeros are 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1 and 4 ones are 4 okay so finally we have the simplified form of the given algebraic expression is 4 1 9 4 3 and double zero so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos